The documentary titled Promises Broken premiered this evening in Youngstown. It was produced by a group called For Our Future Ohio, which is funded primarily by unions. The documentary focused on how President Trump made promises he hasn't kept and was told around the closing of the GM Lordstown plant. Afterwards, there was a panel discussion. Forty people showed up at Youngstown's Steel Museum for the premiere of Promises Broken, which more than once played the clip from President Trump's July 2017 rally where he told a Cavelli Center crowd, don't move, don't sell your house. Those jobs have left Ohio. They're all coming back. Bruce Springsteen's song, Youngstown, was part of the documentary and was how former state senator Joe Schiavone started the panel discussion that followed. That's a good Springsteen song and all, but I get so sick of hearing it all the time, you know, because it's like it hurts. The documentary was critical of President Trump's tax cuts, saying it went mostly to big companies and to benefit the wealthy. It also mentioned corporate greed, as did Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown. I didn't realize how intentional it is uh, until I had a chance to sit on this side as mayor. And they, there's opportunities for growth for everyone. Uh, but when one side gets more than the other side, it, it doesn't benefit anyone. Former GM Lordstown worker Crystal Carpenter wiped her tears away as she told how families packed up and left town when the plant closed. When they gave letters, they gave letters saying, you got to go, you got to go. They didn't care whether you were married, you had kids, nothing. Carpenter praised the union, saying it was a great thing for the GM Lordstown plant. While Liberty's Monica Beasley Martin wished her husband had a union, he was laid off from his Lordstown white collar job. He didn't get one job with General Motors because they didn't care. So now we're in danger of losing our house because he couldn't get another job because he worked 30 some years. He's too young to retire and too old to be hired someplace else. Now, Columbiana County Republican Party Chairman Dave Johnson said claims that President Trump has failed Ohio are not true. Johnson says Ohio has created 17,000 manufacturing jobs in the past two years, compared with 11,000 in the previous eight years. Johnson says unemployment is down a full percentage point and that employers around Youngstown can hardly find new employees. He also said the president is eager to fill the GM Lordstown plant and has canceled NAFTA.